Today is a hot and humid day. I don't feel like casting iron, but my latest project has come to a standstill and I need three parts. I need three of these. That's why I love this furnace so much, because it's so small, I can run the belt off, don't have to wait a ridiculously long amount of time with a larger furnace. So with the furnace here, we've got a vacuum cleaner as a blower, and there's the gas bottles. good. Now I can finish my project. Second part of the light tower is finished. There is the clamp I've just made. This is the light I'll be using. It's a very bright light. It's only 60 watts, but it's ideal for a spotlight. It's got its pivots. That's how it was originally attached, and that will have to be dismantled. And also in there, I'll have to dismantle inside there and make some sort of bracket so it'll fit on the edge of the pole. That's what it looks like inside. We keep this wire here. These ones we take out and put the new lead on. These four points here, where this cover's screwed on, a new cover will be designed as a mounting point just there. Here is the light, it seems to be working okay, ready for the next step. This is the pattern and idea I've come up with. These four screws, the clamp goes on there and on there, and that clamps it onto the boom, and then there's holes drilled here and here, and they go into the light fitting itself. Just a simple little pattern be cast in aluminium and you may ask why because I normally do everything in iron it's because there's a lot of overhang on the boom and any extra weight when it's fully extended will tip the thing over so I've got to make it out of aluminium this is my non-ferrous metal furnace I only melt aluminium brass and bronze in it I used to melt cast iron in it These are the last castings I need to pour from my light stand. They have aluminium and they're for the light itself. Seem to come out okay. 
here is the cast aluminium adapter plate it has all the holes drilled in I've made up the screws and spacers and now I should be able to assemble it and put it on to the back of the light fitting very last thing to do assembling for the light stand is to just slip it on to the boom here now it's finished ready for a test run I have finished the sign or the plaque polished it up, it's been painted and now I can use the light to actually film it and this light is so much better than the fluorescent light I used to use because they flicker on the video and here's the light itself hanging from the boom